Hi, I'll give you a little overview on how to use the email function. Uh, you get updates on the side, it'll tell you if you have new emails. You can also sometimes see updates up here that tells you, oops, excuse me, this one if you've got new emails. But if you want to email someone, the best way to do it is hit class list. And then if you click on someone's name, you're going to email them. It launches an email right away and you give a subject and you can type in the body of the text and then hit send. So that's the easiest way to send an email. If you're in the email function itself though, then we can go over here and say go to email. And there's a couple of things I'd recommend to do. See how it's got this previous pane on the bottom? It's a real pain because you've got to sort of open things up and move them back down again. So what you can do is go to settings and at the bottom here it says show me uh, message preview pane. I'm going to unselect that. I wish it could be a default for everybody, but it isn't. Now it's all opened up and it makes life a lot easier. So there's your email. You can reply. You can change. You can check your sent messages. You can go to your trash just like a regular email program. Okay. It only emails within our online system, our alcdsb.elearningontario.ca. So don't try and email outside of there because it won't work.